Guys, so today I'm out at a park in San Antonio, Texas, getting some fresh air and some sunlight. And I wanna to talk to you guys today about the world and where do you guys think it's going? What are you doing to plan for your financial future and your overall well-being? Look guys, just because things are getting crazy doesn't mean you shouldn't be taking care of yourself, getting out of nature, getting some exercise, being fit, still buying assets, still, still investing, still trying to become financially free. Look, the world's collapsing, but as long as you own real assets, you'll be fine. So we should all be striving to attain real assets at the end of the day. That's what's gonna protect you from de-dollarization, hyperinflation, and you know, a potential World War III event that happens. So I definitely recommend everybody, uh, let's see where I can go. I'll go this way yeah so i definitely recommend everybody start getting in shape if you're not already start buying real assets if you're not already and start trying to think of secondary and third forms of income protect yourself as much as possible we are going into uncertain times guys you've got the the war uh in europe right now and then you have the war that's around Israel. And then you have the potential war that's going to be happening on the Asia, Taiwan region with China. So there's a lot of potential factors going on. You have inflation that's not going away as well. But the U.S. government's probably going to have to print more money. You have election year coming up. There's a lot of things that are happening in the world right now, guys, that you need to prepare yourself and uh, you know, become the best versions of yourself. Don't let these bad times force you into hibernation. Just protect yourself spiritually, financially, physically, and you'll be fine. It's just going to take some, some effort on your part, you know? To do that Let's go this way. yeah so i'm out today like i said I'm, I'm out today in uh san antonio texas at a park getting some getting some sunlight in getting some fresh air cardio in and i figured i'd come on over here and talk to you guys today about what i think you should be doing and again to recap buy real assets you need to be getting in the best shape of your life if possible and you need to be essentially starting different way forms of cash flow you know whether it's a business or multiple businesses you need to start trying to figure out how you're gonna make more money because the economy and all the stats that are coming out are showing that the economy is actually getting worse not better High paying jobs are on decline. You have a large portion of the labor pool not making enough to support and sustain themselves. So they're having to get a secondary job and a third job. You have a lot of factors that are affecting people's way of life right now. And a lot of people feel trapped right now and a lot of people are you know they're looking at many different options and you know, they're looking at moving overseas starting businesses buying rental properties there's many ways that you can deal with what's happening the hyperinflation that's about to happen but you know the dollar collapse um the, the Great Recession 2.0 that's about to happen, possibly Great Depression 
Um, there's a lot of things you can do to prepare yourself. Like I said, just buy real assets and, uh, you know, focus on getting in shape, focus on your family, and focus on starting extra cash flows to protect yourself because liquidity is tightening up in the economy. I don't know if you guys see it or not, but I've seen it. I have rental properties and I talk to tenants every week and I have tenants that are struggling right now. Everyone's struggling right now across the board. I don't care what industry you're in. Everything's getting hit right now. So a lot of people need to start really considering what they're going to do in the next six, 12 months to start figuring out how they're going to protect themselves because things are not going to get better guys. If you think, if you think things are going to get better in the economy, you are a fool because it's not going to get better. It's, it's never, things have never gotten cheaper, right? Home values don't actually really go up. It's just the dollar being devalued, right? Why do you think vehicle prices have gone so, so, uh, so high in the, in the recent years? It's, it's, that's the dollar being devalued. It's inflation. You think your, your, your small mom and pop stores are gonna lower their pricing after two years of inflation? No. Things will never go be as cheap as they were two years ago. And right now, the interest rates are kind of suppressing the hyperinflation that's on the horizon. But at the end of the day, they can only do so much. That's why they haven't decreased the rates yet. Because if they decrease the rates, the interest rates, then what's going to happen? Hyperinflation. If they raise the rates, they're going to tank the economy. It's already tanking. They literally are, the Fed's at a stalemate right now. They can't do much except maybe some more some more uh, dollar printing to try to print our way out of another recession or depression, but all that's gonna continue to do is make everything skyrocket even more. So really, there's not much you can really do except hold on to this roller coaster, get yourself some rental properties, start some businesses, and uh, you know, focus on your health and your family and have a contingency plan. Start looking at other places. I'm not telling you to do this. This is not something I'm telling you to do personally, but it's what I'm doing. You know, my, my, me and my family are exploring different places. If shit were to ever hit the fan or if we don't like the way the, 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 the country's going or things are getting more really expensive, where would we go? You know, we like Mexico a lot. Looking at Puerto Rico. Looking at Dominican Republic. Also looking at Spain. And also looking at some Latin American countries as well. But, uh... We're just, like I said, everyone, everyone's being hit. Banks are collapsing. You've got... People struggling businesses are, are, are declaring bankruptcy i think i just saw uh red lobster is declaring bankruptcy and i saw another article to uh was it today or yesterday they're talking about a bank a week is collapsing right now on average which is crazy to think about why is this not headline news because they're trying to control people they're trying to make people think that everything's okay until after election and after election, depending on whoever you want, you know, whoever you, your political devotions are, that doesn't matter. Whoever gets in office, they're going to blame that person. So, you know, it's just crazy times to live in. But anyways, like I said, guys, just uh, remember, focus on the main things you can control, right? If you can't control it, don't focus on it too much. 
just prepare yourself. How can you do that? Remember guys, start a business, buy some rental properties, focus on your health, okay? Most of those issues right there, most of your issues will be solved if you focus on those three things right there. Getting fit, buying rental properties, and starting a business or two will solve most of your issues. So, on that note, guys, take it easy. And, uh, you know, give me a like, give me a follow. And uh, I try to pump content out every day for you guys. Whether it's investing, it's fitness, travel, or just news in general, okay? So, peace, and I'll talk to you guys later, okay?